Joining us now is Philippe Nassif, Executive Director of In Defense of Christians. Welcome back to the program. Thank you for having me. Well, as you can see from the trip, uh, it was it was quite an experience. Uh, that town of Betnaya, 90 90 percent of it was just completely flattened. You've been there. Absolutely. What are your thoughts? Well, you know, we've seen these images for years now coming out of northern Iraq, where you have entire villages that have been depopulated, you have entire populations that have been uh, displaced, and you have the actual physical infrastructure completely destroyed. Uh, and eliminated. It's a campaign, really, of extinction. It, it is. And, you know, Archbishop Warda um, of the Archdiocese of Rabiel told me that it's possible Christianity will be completely wiped out from, from that region. Mm -hmm. If not, at least maybe only 50,000 Christians will, will be there. Mm -hmm. And out of the Middle East altogether, you advocate safe zones. Tell me about that and how that can help Iraqi Christians. Right. So, so like you said, and so uh, as uh, the Archbishop Warda said as well, you know, we're very concerned with the complete elimination of Christianity and religious minorities in the Middle East, especially in Iraq. So one of the things that we at In Defense of Christians are advocating for is the creation of safe zones, which would essentially uh, protect the population that currently remains in these areas, uh, provide security, stability, and then eventual economic opportunity to these people in these areas, allows them to return home and rebuild their lives. We already have the military assets in the region that, are, uh, that exist to sort of protect these areas. It would be led by the United States and international coalition forces. Uh, but it's really the only solution to make sure Christianity remains uh, in the region. There are a lot of people who would disagree with you there, sure. who say that, you know, Iraqis, um, among themselves have difficulty getting along. And so how right. can you say that those people, along with U.S. folks, are going to right. keep these, these towns safe? Well, we would go through checkpoints. We went through one near yeah. Al-Kosh in the north, and they would not let anyone through who wasn't Christian. Right. I think one of the differences between some of the folks that disagree with our approach uh, is that they're not looking at it more holistically. What we want is uh, self-governing areas, areas where Christians and Yazidis can sort of administer themselves, protect themselves, uh, and allow themselves to return home and rebuild their lives. These are autonomous regions, essentially, but we need a safe zone to be created across that area to make sure that people actually feel safe and can return home sure. before the rebuilding begins. What does the international community need to do right now? Well, I think uh, security, stability, and economic opportunity are the three big things that need to happen. What about right food now. and medicine? Absolutely. I mean, people are talking about you know liberating these areas from ISIS, but they're forgetting the fact that ISIS didn't just drive people out or kill people. They destroyed crops, graveyards, all trace of human existence Everything. in these areas. And there's no electricity and there's no water. And there's, there's nothing. They, they don't have any way of getting money to come back. So where does the money come from? That has to come from the international community. The same way that we respond to a tsunami, the same way that we respond to uh, other wars and civil wars and unrest, we need a, an aid package to be delivered mm -hmm. that isn't just rebuilding, but is, al but is also uh, food, medicine, infrastructure development, as well as uh, securing these areas, too. All right. Well, we will most definitely be focusing on this issue a lot in the future. We hope you come back and join us. Absolutely. Thank you for having us. Philippe Nassif, Executive Director of In Defense of Christians. Appreciate it.